What is up, guys? Sly so Fred Duelist, back at it again with another deck profile. We're back on Dueling Book today. Want to do this one live, but I don't got money, so I can't. <laughs> I can't afford all these cards all at once right now. But uh, we got Alter Guys. I think this is the third Alter Guys profile that we featured on the channel. This one's based off the one that just got, uh, I believe, top four at a uh, regional recently. So uh, kudos to you. Uh, you played a degenerate deck, but you played it well. So we're just gonna get right on into it. We play a pretty standard Alter Guys lineup. Uh, one Kankiri, three Marionetter, three Miller Seek, three Multi Faker, and two Sloquitus. Uh Negate effects, set your traps, search. Uh, Multi Faker is just a dumb card in general. And then uh, bounce stuff. You know, the true oppressive nature of Alter Geist is these two cards right here. Over and 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 over again. It's really stupid. <laughs> just bounce stuff back, special summon to get an effect. Bounce something back, special summon to get an effect. Activated a trap, here's a multi faker. Here's another Sokoitis. Hoo ha, the whole world works. But, uh, I digress. And the only other monsters you play is, uh, three Ass Blastum and No Joy. Because, you know, you gotta play hand traps. Uh, onto the spells. You play a very, very limited spell lineup of two Call by the Grave. I don't know how much you really fear hand traps in this deck. There, obviously, there is gonna be some that aren't gonna hurt you very, very much. But you know, stuff like Ash doesn't really affect the deck unless you're really dependent on that Melu Seek search. So it doesn't really matter too much. But it, it's always just a nice card to have. Uh, three pot of duality to complement the three pot of extravagance. Because your extra deck don't matter, so you're getting rid of all of it anyways. And, uh, duality adds cards. Doesn't draw. Perfection. Hoo-ha. They work together very, very well. Uh, onto the oppressive trap lineup. We got one manifestation, which is called the Haunted on Crack. Uh, two copies of Protocol that lets you negate activations of stuff by, uh, sending Altergeist cards you control to the graveyard. <laughs> Protocol is disgusting. It also prevents your effects from being negated. It's really disgusting. Good card. Uh, two copies of Crackdown. I, I can see this being at three as well. Uh, crackdown, if you go first and you have a Crackdown, I feel like the game could effectively be yours if you play your cards right. Stealing your opponent's monsters is very, very, very good. And <laughs> the fact that they made this card a low rarity and just everyone can have it, you know, it makes me question a lot of things. <laughs> One Heavy Storm Duster from Back Row Hate. One Imperial Order for Sky Striker Hate. You know, I wish Imperial Order is at three, but you know, I'm not an asshole, so it's not gonna happen. I understand. Uh, three copies of Effect Valley, but a trap. It's cheap now. It's a budget card. Budget, budget, budget. It's budget. You can get impermanences now. I got them. I never thought I would have them. I got them now. Uh, three copies of Searching for your Alter Geist, uh, Bullying for Soup.com, Personal Spoofing, uh, Shuffle an Alter Geist, Add an Alter Geist, and then you can do this right after because it's really fucking dumb. Uh, stupid rulings, stupid, stupid rulings. And then we play a nice, clean, solemn package. Uh, one Judgment, Two Strike, One Warning. I didn't feel like main decking more floodgates than the necessary, uh, you know. Imperial Order was necessary. Uh, you could definitely fill those up in your side deck. If you want to play Summon Limits, go for it. If you want to play uh, not goes in match, don't play goes in match. That won't do you very well. Uh, if you want to play Rivalry, go for it. But uh, some Summon Limits are very good cards. He's getting a three print soon, I believe. Two months? I believe July, something like that. Anyways, on to the extra deck that doesn't really matter. We play three copies of Hextia. Uh, what do you do again? Negate activation of a spell or trap card of effect by attributing an alter guy set of points to something like that. The uh, Hextia is a very, very good card. You want to max out on it at all times. Kidolga is also a very good card. Uh, when it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one monster in their graveyard and special summon it to his own it points to. But each turn, it cannot attack unless this card is already declared and attack that turn. So they, this has to attack first. And it doesn't really matter too much. Again, it's not going to come up too often. Because uh, you don't need your extract, which is why I conveniently forgot Linkery Bow in here as well for the free search. Uh, you know, 
the let's just say this second one here or this Trisbana could be a Link Karibo as well. Uh, one frame Banshee doesn't really matter. It's a good card. Frame Banshee is a very good card. It just the entirety of the extra deck is win more. It's like if you go into this, you're already winning. So it's like why bother? Uh, the Boral Twins with no guard because fuck guard. I chose to do it one copy of Daybreaker Shining Magical Warrior. Just because he's a spell boy, uh, you can use spell casters, and uh, he can pop shit on board. It's really cool, actually. And uh, he kind of counters, uh, you know, stupid dumb shit of spell caster monster or special summon to his only points so you give him a counter. So you just special summon this girl, and you're like, bam, psh, and then you bounce it back, and you just keep generating counters and popping cards. I think I feel like Daybreaker could be a really good card to look out for in upcoming Altergeist builds if people learn to build around it. Uh, typical Nightmare stuff, one Cerberus, two Phoenix, one Uni, and then, you know, the Trisbana, or Link Karibo, or anything else. Alter guys don't need its extra deck too much, but uh, definitely the Link Karibo could help with the Melusi getting the single search out. So, sometimes a single search is all you need. You know, I, I've, been, I've been following Alter guys since they first came out. I told Mark... At that sneak peek, I was like, hey, get Alter guys. They're cheap, and the deck's probably gonna be good. I'm, I'm a visionary for this series, alright? When Extreme Force came out, I said, there can be only one, is gonna be a great card. Get it. No one fucking cared. Until fucking a year later, people were reading the card, they're like, hey, this card's good. And I was like, yeah, I told you that a year ago. The only one I was wrong about so far was Die Dance. I, I'm still, you know, the court's still out for that one, the jury's still out there. But, as oppressive and stupid as floodgate.deck can be, well, no, that's uh, true Draco. Trap.deck, fuck it, there we go. As a stupid and oppressive as infinite infinitimpermanence.deck is, it is, it is a very nice thing to see, you know, traps exist in the metagame. I, I... I don't know if they're tier 1 like people thought they were at the beginning of the format. Uh, tier, tier, tier 2 definitely. They're, they have so much potential and shit that they could do. I also wanted to highlight Haunted Rock. But, you know, with track, uh, with Crackdown just coming out, a lot of decks can play that. The, the re-emergence of traps into the game, even with stuff like Impermanence and Evenly Matched. Haunted Rock is a very, very good card as well, negating trap cards. Granted, there's other cards that probably do it better. You can just play a Red Reboot if you really are so inclined. Red Reboot does shut this deck down, but uh, <laughs> I digress. Uh, Haunted Rock, definitely something to keep in mind. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, check us out on TCG Player. I saw it online Thursdays and Fridays uh, for the most part. You know, you know, unless unless I'm super busy, it's usually that's usually how it goes. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, giveaway is over. I'm sure you already know that. Uh, congrats to the winner. Sent out your prize. I'm sure you already know that. Who how the whole world works. I think you probably got it already. Uh, that's gonna be it. Like, subscribe, slide for our duels forever. We will be seeing you. And peace.